I just got back, darling. There really is no place like home. Quite. I was just about to head out to clean out the stables. We just got a new pony, and we're thinking to call her Rosebud. Oh, darling, he was kind. He was smart, and most importantly of all, he was important. Oh, stop it! I have to look after this mare. One will have what she's having. <laughs> oh, Charles, may I say something to you? Of course, my love. One hates the way one talks to one, and the way one cuts one's hair. One hates the way one drives one's car. One hates it when one stares. One hates one's big dumb combat boots, and the way one reads one's mind. One hates one so much that it makes one sick. It even makes one cry. One hates the way one's always right. One hates the way one lies. One hates it when one makes one laugh. Even worse, when one makes one cry. One hates the way one's not around, and the fact that one didn't call. But mostly, one hates the way one doesn't hate one, not even close, not even a little bit, not even at all. Here's looking at you, kid. You revive me. I fill up your tank, darling. Please don't think me foolish, but I simply must warn you to never feed a corgi after midnight. One does not think you're foolish. I mean, there are elements of the ridiculous about you. Your mother's pretty interesting, and you really are an appallingly bad public speaker. And、um, you tend to let whatever's in your head come out of your mouth without much consideration of the consequences. Oh, Charles, no. But the thing is,、um, what one is trying to say very inarticulately is that,、um, in fact, despite appearances, one likes you very much, just as you are. Oh, you are awfully clever. See, darling, the fame thing isn't real, really. One's just a girl standing in front of a boy, asking one to love her. We're going to need a bigger tampon. <laughs> oh, darling, I do love you. One knows, darling. Life is like a box of tampons. One never might know which one might get. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are naughty. One can't quit you. Winning that ticket, Camilla, was the best thing to ever happen to me. It brought me to you, and I'm thankful for that, Camilla. I'm thankful. You must do me this honor. You must promise me to survive, that you won't give up, no matter what happens, no matter how hopeless. Promise me now, Camilla, and never let go of that promise. I'll never let go, my love. You really are the king of the world. My precious. One moment, I think the lonesome A has returned. No doubt he will regale me with one of his mundane stories. Frankly, my dear, one doesn't give a damn. Oh, Charles, don't be like that. I'll be back. Hasta la vista, darling. Oh, and before you go, my love. Yes, darling. May the horse be with you. And also with you, darling. <laughs>